so this is moto g 5g running android 13 but uh, this is not a android 13 custom rom but a gsi rom so if you have watched my previous video of how to dual boot gsi with stock rom but here it is installed as the primary os so it has replaced the stock rom let's explore some of its features so starting off with the battery backup so it has not been great and uh, getting couple of hours less than the custom rom and as it is not made specifically for our device so that is expected also calling via sim card will not work and the LTE data like mobile data will work but uh, calling I could not make it work and as you can see it is taking up the entire internal storage so it is like any custom ROM we do see the new music notification with the progress bar in a swirly design and also the accent color is tinted with the album art colors and even on the lock screen it uh, looks the same and uh, it also applies to the YouTube video you are watching so the thumbnail will become the album artwork and the colors will uh, be matching to that as well so it looks quite good and I've also installed Gcam and this is the Gcam that I was using on Android 11 and Android 12 and it's working here as well And I've tested with all the three lenses. And in the style and wallpaper, we have now 12 options for the color, the color theme. And you can see one of the examples here. The colors are very vibrant. And you can see how it looks in the dark mode. We also now can see the foreground apps running right from the notification and we can also kill them from the notification itself. So now coming to how to install it. So first we need to actually download the firmware for our device. So I've installed the Red In for Retail India. Similarly you can download for your region and make sure you download the latest version. Then we will download the Linux OS recovery and also make sure you download the Linux OS custom ROM as well if you want to switch back. And we need the Android 13 GSI image. So I'm going to download the Pixel 5 and the links will be in the description. You can also choose to install any other GSI image of your choice and make sure it is ARM 64 AB version. And right now I'm on Linux, but if you're on Windows, you need to also install this ADB drivers and the Motorola device drivers for the ADB and Fastboot. So make sure you install them. On Linux, you can install both of them with a simple command. After downloading the files, uh, make a folder named GSI. And here just copy all the files. Now we need to extract the firmware file first and then extract the android 13 gsi image as well additionally we also need a product gsi image which is very important so you need to also download that now move the custom recovery the android 13 gsi and the product gsi image into the firmware folder the files have been successfully moved now we need to run some commands so on xd i found this guide and it has the commands needed to thanks to this user so i've just copied the commands in a text file so it's easier to copy paste and run the commands so one by one we will run the commands so first we need to plug in our phone make sure the developer options are enabled and USB debugging is turned on so just right click in the firmware folder and open the terminal and it's the same case for the windows as well so first we're going to boot into the bootloader mode using this command and you will see a prompt on your phone so just allow the debugging 
and after you can check using this command if your device is connected or not and then just rerun the bootloader command and you will see your phone has now booted into the the bootloader screen now we can uh, one by one run the other commands Now we will copy this command but we are going to replace the havoc.img with our android 13 gsi name. So paste the commands then delete the last part. Then you can right click on your gsi image and rename. Then you can use this to copy like select all the name and then copy and paste the name and then just run the command. It will start flashing the gsi image and this process will take a long time and after it is done we can now move ahead and flash the uh, recovery image so same procedure copy the pro command but uh, replace the twrp.img with your uh, recovery name and we need to run this command twice to flash it on slot a and then slot b so just uh, change the commands accordingly So I'm deleting the A and replacing it with B and now we can just uh, use this command to format the data and finally we can reboot our device and after you hit enter your phone will start booting up and you can set up and start using the Android 13. So if you want to flash another GSI image you need to uh, run this command and just replace the system.img with the gsi image name and similarly you can just run the commands one by one and make sure you also flash the custom recovery so if you want to switch back and do not uh, run this command flash file to flash the stock rom i would recommend you to use the custom recovery and flash the custom rom first so the performance of the Android 13 GSI is quite smooth and uh, similar to that of Pixel devices. You can not use it as a daily driver as the calls are not working but if you're installing it in a secondary device or you just want to try it out you can definitely go for it. So that was it for this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.